Hi everybody and welcome to Goss's Garage. I'm Pat Goss and if you have any kind of a question or a comment or anything that deals with automobiles, how about letting me know? I'd be happy to answer your questions on the program here. Now our program is brought to you by Wins Automotive Products. Uh, now the big thing with automobiles as we've seen over the years is that preventive maintenance is the key to making a car last longer. As, for, as a matter of fact, good preventive maintenance can double or triple the average life of a car. So, uh, you know, learning how to take care of the car, well, that can reduce your cost per mile significantly over the life of the vehicle. And remember one thing, it's virtually almost always cheaper to repair the old car than it is to buy a new one. Now the things that people don't look at when they're looking toward, well, gee, my car needs a thousand dollar repair, well, time to get a new one, right? Well, that's not exactly the case. You see, the thing that you should do to determine when it's time to buy another car and new versus used and so on. Well, number one is on the old car, have a bumper to bumper diagnostic service done on it. Now that means that we're gonna check everything on the car. We're gonna check the tires, the wheels, the brakes, the struts, the shocks, the exhaust, the engine, you name it, all of these different things, hundreds of different things. And at the end of that diagnostic workup, then you're going to get uh, an evaluation of what the car needs now and what it will likely need in the near future. Okay, now, once you've done that, then you have the shop make up an estimate for all of these things that your car uh, needs right now and what you can expect to pay out in the next uh, year. Okay, you get all of that done, and that's going to give you a good idea as to whether or not it makes sense to repair your car. Now, if it doesn't make sense to repair your car, well, what do you do next? Well, the first thing is, do you consider buying a brand new car, or are you going to buy a used vehicle? Well, the thing to remember here is that used vehicles are typically the better choice. Now, not just any old used vehicle, not from the corner uh, buy here, pay here shop. Uh, that, that could get you into a lot of trouble. But buying a certified pre-owned vehicle can often save you tons of money. See, you go out and you buy that new car, and this is the one thing that a lot of people don't put into their equation. They say, well, I am going to spend $2,500 or $4,000 or whatever the number is on the old car and that equals X number of payments on a new car so the new car makes sense. Well, not really. Remember that in addition to payments, you have to look at things like taxes and registration and usually a higher cost of insurance because the vehicle is worth more money. But then there's the hidden bugaboo here, the thing that is really uh, the fly in the ointment or whatever term you want to use on it. And that is depreciation. See, new cars take a horrible hit in the first one to three years that you own them. And that depreciation has to be figured in. And that's where the certified pre-owned vehicle comes in because usually it's going to be an off-lease vehicle and vehicles are leased for one, two, three years on average. So you buy a two or three year old certified pre-owned vehicle and somebody else has taken the depreciation. They have actually paid that depreciation every month in their lease payment. So now you don't have to do that. 
Okay, so now you're going to save a ton of money uh, in doing this uh, used vehicle, this certified pre-owned vehicle. Now, in addition to that, the taxes and all of that are going to be less. Uh, typically, your insurance is going to be less because it isn't a brand new vehicle and the value isn't as high. You have a warranty on it because that's part of the certified pre-owned program. And the other things that you have to consider are that in order to qualify for certified, most of these vehicles have to have documented uh, service records. In other words, they've had proper oil changes, they've had proper tire rotations and all these things. And in most cases, the car will already come with brand new tires on it because most certified programs uh, have very strict uh, requirements as far as the condition of the tires and stuff like that. So now you have to change the whole perspective on this and once you add the depreciation to the brand new car in, you may find. Now certainly not all of us want to buy a, a used car, but you may find that the financial aspects of it make it very appealing. So just something to consider when it comes to uh, repairing the old vehicle as opposed to buying another vehicle. You know, and uh, in most cases, it's going to be more practical to repair your old one than it is to buy another one. But let's face it, we all get tired of the old clunker sitting in the driveway and facing it every morning. So the majority of automobiles are traded or sold not because they are no longer practical to repair or too costly to repair or anything like that. They're simply sold or traded because we get sick of looking at their ugly grills. And that's the bottom line on most uh, traded and sold vehicles. All right, let's take a quick break for a word from our sponsor, Wins. What could possibly be more important to the safe operation of your vehicle than its brakes? You may not know it, but how well your brakes and brake-related safety systems work depends on the quality and condition of your brake fluid. WINS.4 LV, low viscosity brake fluid, is formulated to provide up to a 30% faster response time for vehicles with electronic stability control, traction control, and anti-lock brakes. This product also provides superior brake fluid performance in cold temperatures. Use this exceptional product to uh, resist absorption and retention of water, resulting in superior corrosion protection to keep your brakes functioning at their best. The percentage of hybrid and electric cars being purchased is continually on the rise. And WINS.4 LV, low viscosity brake fluid, works safely and effectively on these modern vehicles. WINS.4 uh, LV brake fluid is compatible with both DOT3 and DOT4 brake fluids and conforms to federal motor vehicle standards. Ask for quality WINS products by name at finer shops everywhere. Online, WINSUSA.com. And now, it is time for your questions. You see, we take your questions. Some of them are absolutely ridiculous. Some of them are wonderful. But we're going to treat them all, well, pretty much the same. Now let's start out with something that is a little bit on the ridiculous side. Is it possible to crack a sidecar window if you hit it with your head after stopping too suddenly? All right, now the first thing with this question, what kind of a, an idiot is going to hit their head on the side window during a stop, either going forward or backward? Doesn't work that way. But let's suppose you are clumsy enough to figure out a way to do that. 
Well, I can tell you one thing, you're going to have a very hurting head because car windows don't break that easily. As a matter of fact, it takes a significant force to break a car window. That's why you have to have a special tool in your car in case you ever get trapped in there uh, in order to get out. Well, in order to break the glass, it requires a little hammer or a spring-loaded punch that gives this uh, abrupt and sharp point against that side window. And that's what it takes to break it. So uh, uh, I, I would think if you're so clumsy at driving that you're hitting your head on the side window of your car, then um, maybe it's time to quit commuting and hitch a ride to the emergency room. All right, that one was kind of ridiculous. Now, can I use engine oil rated 20W50 instead of the 530 oil for a Toyota Highlander? Well, sure you can. You can use anything you want. You can put water in there if you want to. That doesn't mean it's going to do your car any good. Just like this 2050 instead of the 5W30. Why would you do that? You know, thicker is not better. Thicker is one thing. It's thicker oil. That's it. Doesn't mean it's better for your car. Doesn't mean it does anything any better. It's just designed for engines that have more clearance between the moving parts. So can you? Yes, you can. Should you? No, you shouldn't. You see, unless you know more about how an engine works and how engine oils work and so on, then the people who designed and built your engine, and I don't think that's very possible, then go with what the vehicle manufacturer recommends. Not some half-baked idea that you found on the internet or something like that. Now, why is this important? Well, the clearances inside the engine are set up for a certain oil viscosity, a certain thickness of oil. With modern machining technology, these clearances can be very small. In other words, the parts fit together much like the parts in a watch. Very, very precise. And that means there is less space for oil to move between the two moving parts. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, if we put thicker oil in there, all that happens is, is that oil pressure goes up, but the amount of oil the amount of oil that can move through those, uh, between those moving parts, becomes less. Now, why is that important? Well, each place, each connecting rod bearing, each main bearing, and each cam bearing, and so on, is going to reduce the volume little by little by little until there's very little left when we get to the end of the oiling circuit. All right, now, that means extra wear, but it also means a loss of cooling. If you think about it, the parts that are lubricated by oil, not only are they lubricated by that oil, but they are cooled by that oil. You can't have any coolant or anything like that in the crankcase, so these moving lubricated parts are 100% cooled by oil. Now, if you have less oil flowing between them, you have less cooling. Less cooling means those parts get hotter as they're operating. And more heat means a shorter lifespan. Heat is the enemy inside an engine. So the thing that you want to do is to read the owner's manual and follow the directions the people who designed the engine gave you. You're not going to accomplish anything by using a thicker oil. As a matter of fact, you'll probably shorten the life of your engine. So, no thicker oils. Thicker is not better. 
All right, let's see. How can I turn my 2013 Nissan Altima into a fun street car that is fast and modded out? Okay, we are going to do something here. Well, go online and examine your bank account to see how many thousands you have at your disposal. See, the fact of the matter is here, if you want to take a normal car and make it into a fast car, and one that's fun to drive, then you're going to spend some money. Some big money. Now, at the end of the day, what you're going to want to do here, you're probably going to want to put twin turbos on the car. That's going to give you the oomph that you want. But to go along with those twin turbos, you're going to need a new exhaust system. Then you're going to want to make the car stop better, so you're going to have to do a brake upgrade. And now you've got this fast car that goes around corners like a pig. So now you have to upgrade the, uh, the suspension. And to go along with the suspension upgrades, then you're going to have to upgrade the tires and wheels. So, 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars later, you have this modded Nissan Altima. And it goes around corners and it stops well and it's got good performance. But is it fun? No, not really. Reason being is it still has its CVT. CVT transmission. How much fun could that possibly be? So, the best thing if you want a high performance car is to buy a high performance car because it comes as a package with better tires, better wheels, better brakes, better suspension, all of these things wrapped up in one package. So, a lot of this stuff that you see on TV and you read about in the magazines, well, it may sound like tremendous fun, but unless you know what you're doing, have the bank account to support it and so on, it may be anything but fun. All right, that about concludes today's show. Now, a couple of things. Number one, remember preventive maintenance is the key to a long-lived vehicle, and look for WINS quality products. If you have a question or a comment and would like to have it read on air, by all means, drop me a line. It is patgoss at goss-garage.com. That's patgoss at goss-garage.com. Or service at goss-garage.com. And for all the folks that wins, please drive gently. See you next time right here in Goss's Garage.